Gadget God here, and welcome to the next episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection, where we go on the journey to collect every North American Nintendo 64 game with the box and the manual. And we do have a whole ton here. We have some really, really good games today. And I wanted to start it off with one of my personal holy grails, one of my favorite games of all time, and it's also a pretty rare game. So I got this mega box. I'm just gonna pull it out. Now, if you haven't seen this show before, I do have the three rules down in the description below. Let me know what your favorite Nintendo 64 games are. Nintendo 64 is the best. Don't deny it. If you don't know it, you've been missing out. But let me know what your favorite N64 games are down in the comments below. I'd love to know. So here we have what is one of my top N64 games of all time. And by all time, that means ever to infinity and beyond. And that is Snowboard Kids. Now, I did get a bundle from a certain seller where it has just the cardboard game insert and the box in mint condition and the cartridge. So I just want to show that box there. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite N64 games of all time. I would say my personal top 10 easily, probably my top five as well. But there's so many good Nintendo made games. It's hard to put any game in your top five. So definitely my top 10 box is mint. That's why I waited so long to get this because I got it for a very low price. To get Snowboard Kids complete in box is very expensive for some silly reason, probably because it's an amazing game. It plays just like Mario Kart and you get different items. You can see there you got two different items. You can throw the hand at people. It's like a, it's like a green shell and the fan is like a mushroom, mushroom turbo boost. But this game is amazing. There is a sequel Snowboard Kids 2. But such a great game. We used to rent this all the time as kids. Literally, if this was in stock at the local video game store, we would rent it. This is back when you didn't think to buy the game. You just rented it if it was there. And we would have bought it. But I never remember seeing this in the, in the store like KB Toys or Coconuts. I never remember seeing Snowboard Kids to buy. But the rental store that we went to did have it. Cartridge is in really, really clean condition. It does have the marker on the top. The seller actually said that they blacked out the name with Sharpie, but Sharpie is very easy to remove. I do have a video, How to Clean Retro Games, which I'll put the link to that down below, down there. So this will be very easy to clean. And look at that. The actual cartridge itself is minty fresh. Super clean. And you may notice that there's no manual to this, but I actually was able to purchase the manual separately from a different seller. To get this whole set complete in box, Snowboard Kids, crazy expensive, uh, but I don't pay retail prices. So this is one of my favorite games of all time for the N64, no questions asked. Did you ever play Snowboard Kids? I, I do need Snowboard Kids 2. That's another one of my top games that I want to get, but it's just, it's really tough to get that game complete in box. But Snowboard Kids, honestly, one of my favorite games of all time. If you like Mario Kart, then I guarantee you will love this game. And I'm so happy I waited until I got the box in minty, minty crisp, no sun fading condition. And I'll take that Sharpie off real easily. It doesn't touch any of the labels on the front or the back, so I will have a mint cart as well. Very happy to have this, honestly. Had to show this first because this was one of the, the games that I could not wait to get when I started collecting the N64 set. So, uh, did you play Snowboard Kids? Let me know in the comments below. Have you even heard of this game? Look at that box art. I really enjoy retro game box art. Now you know if you didn't know already. One of the funny things that you guys don't get to see off camera is as I open these, a giant pile of like cardboard boxes and packaging material builds up next to me. So it's pretty funny, but you don't get to see it. I could show you, maybe I'll put a screenshot of it at the very end, but we're gonna go ahead and go on to some of the next N64 games that we have. Yes. Turok Rage Wars. This is actually the third Turok game released on the Nintendo 64, and it's not your traditional type of game. This game is more like Quake 3 Arena. I guess you could say it's similar to like Overwatch nowadays in that it's it's a multiplayer shooter. There's no heroes in it, but it was Turok's spin-off for multiplayer once their multiplayer became a little more popular in Quake 2. But this box is in the freshest condition. There's your screenshots. But we did play this back in the day. We did own this game. Torok was huge on the N64. But we can see the box is in really, really clean condition. I love how it has this kind of 3D pop-up. All the letters pop up on all sides of the box. The box is just minty, crisp, clean. 
Nothing makes me smile like a crisp N64 box. I got this one for a crazy low price, super duper low price. That's what I wait for. I wait till the price of the game is dirt cheap and then I'll jump on it. Has the cartridge in that original bag. You can see the label is mint. Look at that. Beautiful Torok Rage Wars. Has the bag, has all of the inserts, has the poster on the inside. Manual is in excellent, beautiful condition on the back. Has a tiny bit of a fold, but you know, are we gonna cry over that? No, we don't cry, we're grown. Has the insert, has the registration card. I know some people go cuckoo over that registration card. To me, it's just a piece of paper. The irony in me making that statement when I'm collecting N64. But this game rocks. If you like GoldenEye, I would say this is not obviously not as good as GoldenEye, but it's a, a four-player multiplayer shooter, so it's definitely a good game. Can't even get those in there. That's how many how many paper packets it came with. But Torok Rage War, it's a good game. Third in the Torok series released for the N64. The fourth one was Torok 3, so Torok 1, 2, Torok Rage Wars, and then Torok 3. So this is a good game if you're dying for some four-player, multiplayer, head-to-head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head -to -head -to -head combat. I got it for super cheap. You can get this game for relatively cheap. Uh, there is actually a cartridge variation of Torok Rage Wars, and that is the gray cart. And the interesting story behind the gray cart is that there is a game-breaking glitch towards the very end of this game. It does have a single-player campaign in it, and there is actually a glitch towards the end of it that if you run into it, it'll it'll mess with your save. So if you somehow knew you could actually call or send in a letter to a claim and they would mail you the cartridge that has the bug fixed. And that Torok Rage Wars cartridge is a gray cartridge. So if you got that gray cartridge by somehow knowing that you could mail away for this fix, the gray cartridge is extremely valuable. It's not super duper rare because they did make a ton of them in anticipation for people mailing away, but not a lot of people did. So the Turok Ray cartridge is very valuable, but not very rare. And there actually was someone who found uh, back in the day a box of a couple hundred, at least a hundred Turok Ray cartridges. And they put them all on eBay for 10 bucks because they thought it was just a normal Turok Rage Wars cartridge. So I actually remember back in the day just missing out on those eBay auctions. I heard about it literally two days after they'd all sold, but the people who now own the gray cartridge, those go for like at least $100. So I would love to get a gray cartridge, but I'm happy to have Turok Rage Wars complete in box. Gray cartridge is one of the rarest uh, or most valuable variations. Other variations of cartridges are the not for resale versions but this was just a color variation of cartridge. Rage Wars, super happy to have it. Another set for the collection. Next one we got over here in this big box. Dump it out like a dump truck. I got a pile of boxes that always builds up over in the corner every time I do this. So here is a box and manual only, Kirby 64. Now we can see it does have some crunch damage along the top there. I'm gonna have to double check the auction to make sure that was on there because that's pretty rugged along the top. For that level of damage, you might as well just wait and get one in better condition. But this is the box and the manual. It does have all the extra paperwork. So I just actually double checked the auction and for the price of just the manual, I got the box and the manual. So what the manual would normally sell for, which is which is pretty low, it's just a, it's a piece of paper, but the manual is super mint condition. I paid for the price of just the manual, got the box in here essentially for free. So uh, now I have the box for Kirby 64 for free. Uh, the Crystal Shards, absolutely gonna need a box upgrade in the future, but I basically just bought the manual and the extra paperwork and the box came for free. So you can't complain about that. That's a super deal, super bundle, especially because the box is pretty tricky to get for a low price. This is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best Kirby games, Kirby 64. We did have this back in the day. Awesome feature is that you can, you swallow people to get their powers, but you could swallow two people and get a combination of powers, which would then give you a whole different move for Kirby to use. So very cool. This is one of the best Kirby games, in my opinion, that you can get. Also was Kirby's transition from 2D to kind of a pseudo 2.5D gameplay style. But got the box for free, paid just a super low price for only the manual. Very happy to have it. Still need the cartridge. The Kirby 64, I recommend it.
Now this next one is pretty crazy because this is an uncommon game, Polaris Snowcross, and this is an exceptional condition. Now, this is an unknown rare and that it's a rare game, but nobody knows it because not a lot of people are searching for this one. This is not a highly sought after game, but if you're trying to get an N64 set, this is a very difficult game to find complete in the box. Some people actually, for the registration card for this game alone, they wanna charge what the whole bundle could cost. So, I don't care about the registration card. This one came with it, so cool, that's awesome. Very happy about that, but box is in wonderful shape, has a little tear up there in the corner. But other than that, the price that I paid was way below what buy it nows are and normal selling prices for this. I messaged the seller. I said, hey, you know, let's can we cut a deal on this one? This is a game that I still need for my collection. And you'd be surprised how many people are just happy to help somebody out, you know. So Polaris Snowcross also has that registration card. People going crazy for it. They go crazy for all registration cards. Dia Katana is a registration card that some people want to go on eBay and ask a ton for, which is ridiculous. Get over it. Insert. Another paper insert, power up and get the free stuff. And then we have the manual here. I would say this is an above average condition, tiny bit of wear, but the cartridge is in exceptional shape, really beautiful. So Polaris Snowcross, what kind of game do you think it is? Use your best guess, spoilers, I spoiled it, I let you know. It's a snowmobile game, it's not like SSX for the PlayStation 2. A lot of people probably want to assume that, but it's just a cool snowmobile game. And I believe it's the only snowmobile game for the Nintendo 64. And now we got it. Now we got another game for the set, Uncommon Rare. This is tricky to get the whole set for a fair price, but I got it for a well below average price. That's my goal, that's the deal. Another game for the collection, yeehaw! And I did notice as I was putting everything back in the box, it has a tiny tear up there, and on the opposite side, has a tiny tear there. So I don't believe there's any more tears. That's just part of the game when you collect N64. You gotta be prepared for silly tears. It's part of the business. A little tear in that top corner, but we can live with it. A little tear in that corner. For the price that I paid for this whole set, this completing box of Polaris Snowcross, it's absolutely worth it. Well below even half of what people normally pay for on eBay. So super happy to have it, unknown rare. Let's go into some more of the goodness. Now this one, ooh, get this box out. Now this one, Command and Conquer, is actually a pretty interesting story. So Command and Conquer came out in the N64 when the sequel, Red Alert, had already come out on PC. So this came out, I believe, four years after Command and Conquer came out on PC. So a super uh, late release as far as the original was concerned on PC, but to make up for that, the developers actually added a bunch of extra features that are not in the PC version. So this is a, a really good real-time strategy game on the N64. There were only two, this and StarCraft 64. So I don't know if StarCraft 64 came out and Command & Conquer wanted a piece of that pie, so that's why they came out with this so late or if it was that difficult to make. But the graphics are actually really good considering, got the paperwork in here, manual is super thick. Look at that. There's like a book from a library that you would rent. Manual's in beautiful shape. Cartridge is in really, really good shape. Now, because StarCraft 64 is such a rare game for the N64, the price of Command & Conquer, which is the same genre, real-time strategy, is also relatively high. So I got this for a very low price compared to what everyone pays for it. You're gonna hear that every time because that's the only reason I will bite on a game. Top is really clean. We can see on the side a little bit of a squeeze. We can see on this side a little bit of a squeeze, but that's all right because I honestly got this for almost free and this game can get pretty pricey just because people think real-time strategy games on the N64 are supposed to be very valuable. But we played this all the time on the PC when we were kids, no joke. This was pretty much my introduction to the real-time strategy genre besides the original Star, uh, the original Warcraft on PC, where you had to build next to the road. Glad they got rid of that in future real-time strategy games because that was pretty obnoxious, but uh, we played Warcraft back in the day, Warcraft 2, Command & Conquer. We played a ton of Command & Conquer, so did not have this on the N64 because why would you try to play this game with a controller when you can play it with a mouse and keyboard? Infinitely a better way to play it, but I am very happy to have this game. It's a great game on, on PC, 
Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for the N64 just because using that controller is such a pain in the butt. It does have a good control scheme. Our current games like Halo Wars, they actually, I feel, mastered the way to control real-time strategy games on a console. So the Halo War games are really good. I definitely recommend those, but I don't recommend Command & Conquer for the N64. I do recommend Command & Conquer for the PC. But super happy to have this in really great shape. Another game for the collection, and this is a pretty tricky game to get for a fair price. Look at that box art with the guy and the explosion of his glasses. Man, when we were kids, we played this all the time on the PC. A great game. Uh, kind of has not aged very well, but if you're desperate, I'd say play it on the PC, but it's still a good game. We're gonna open this one up next. Excuse me, Majora's Mask Link. I just had to show it, because look at him. What a gentleman with a Goron mask. Now this next one, very generously, they included a free instruction manual. I like that their note says, I hope you don't have this yet. Do I? Let me know in the comments if I have that one. I know if I do or not, but I wanna see if you guys are paying attention. Ooh, let me see. Don't let the tape touch it. Don't let the tape touch it. Killer Instinct Gold Manual, in pretty good shape too. They throw that in, Mwah. my hat's off to you. Very nice, very thoughtful. So if the one that I have is not in better condition than this, I'll swap it out. So super appreciate the donation, he the man. And this was a surprise donation, by the way. They didn't say anything about including a, a free manual. So very cool, I really appreciate that. Good karma in your future. Next one we have here. Now, just before I do this one, you may say that you like that it came with a free case, but you notice how this is very, it's like white, it's got that white tint to it. The box protectors that I recommend are completely clear, ultra protective, the best ones you can get. So if you wanna have faded cheap white ones, then you can get this online, but check out my link below for the best retro game box protectors you can get. I did a previous video review on them. Knife Edge, Nose Gunner. What a crazy name. Is that like a specific type of helicopter, a nose gunner? Obviously the gun's coming from the nose, you know, I understand that part, but Knife Edge, Nose Gunner, just a crazy name. This is one I was kind of peeking on for a while, just because uh, it's not listed very often in the complete in box condition and in good shape, so. Obviously it's a helicopter game, I'll show you all sides of the box. Real clean, real crisp. Got the nose gunner action that everyone was craving back in the day. There's your screenshots. It's a helicopter game, not one that I played back in the day, but I got it for that ultra low price. That price that makes other collectors say, how the heck can I say? <laughs> I don't know, persistence and patience, I guess. That's, that's how you get the good prices. But it does have the paperwork, registration card, more paperwork. You snooze, you lose, baby. Got the poster in there, and then the instruction manual in real minty shape. The key to getting any of these games, if you, if you are forced to do it online because you don't have a retro game store, I don't have any retro store or retro activity around me at all, so I'm pretty much doomed to go online. But the key to get anything for a good price and in good condition is just patience. Just be patient. There it is, cart in beautiful shape. Look at that. Perfect addition to the collection. Everything is crisp and clean and included. Knife edge, nose gunner, get in your helicopter. And use your nose as a gun. Like, why wouldn't you use your nose? You're not gonna use your tail as a gun. Another awesome game that I'm super happy to have in the collection. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you click subscribe, you're automatically joining the Gadget God Squad. And if you didn't know already, because you've been out of the loop. I'm the Gadget God. I do the research so that you don't have to. Thanks for watching everybody. And have a awesome, complete inbox, Kirby 64, the Crystal Shard, snowboard kids rest of your day. Yeah, huh?